Okay, so today marks a new push in the ongoing fight over those annoying robocalls. Raise your hand if you're tired of them. Mm. It is the last chance for phone companies to adopt new technology that could stop many of those calls. They just don't stop. News Age Chris Grow live with what we need to know here. And Chris, they're so sneaky, right? They even have your like your area code. You think it's totally. someone you might know, and you, you you nearly click on it. Don't do that, <laughs> right? <laughs> it Exactly, and you know it's really funny that you guys say raise your hand because we actually just had a couple walk by on their morning walk saying, "Hey, what's your story today?" We're like robocalls. They're like, "Oh my God, robocalls! We can't stand them. Nobody can stand them." Now the hope is that there is a new method, a new technology that will help curb them, especially the ones that sound like this. This call is regarding to your social security number. We found some fraudulent activities under your name. And to give you an idea of the picture here, residents in our county received 39 million robocalls in April, 1.3 million a day, 15 every second. Now, not all of them are bad. Some robocalls are good, like the ones you get from your doctor reminding you of your appointment. But two thirds of those calls are scams and telemarketers. Now, today is the FCC dot deadline for major U.S. phone providers to adopt a technology called Stir Shaken. It. It's a process that validates a call and the actual number and carrier being used to make it. So, Eric, as you pointed out there, a lot of these spam calls are trying to get around that by using a fake area code similar to yours to try to get you to be like, oh, hey, maybe this is someone I know. Maybe I should answer this call. Well, don't, because if they uh, are able to get the stir and shake thing to work here, the number you see will be different. It'll be one that may be recognized by your carrier as a spam call and you won't want to pick it up. Now, the hope is again that this will significantly cut down the number of robocalls we receive, but it won't be perfect because spammers will still be able to buy legit 1-800 numbers, but it's still a good start. So in theory, a fake phone call or a spoofed phone call will not be able to get through. Shaken and Stir is supposed to be built into the networks, so you won't have to do anything for it to work. And again, come July 1st, this doesn't mean that all of a sudden spam robocalls will end. As we have known, there are going to be ways around this. Remember that federal registry where everyone would go on and put their phone number in there? Well, as one lawyer pointed out in another story uh, that we've done, they don't look at that list, especially if they're trying to spam you. If they're criminals, they're not worried about breaking the law in order to get your number, to dial your number. So there are apps, there are other ways to try to get around this moving forward in the future. Just go to cbs8.com slash robocalls for more ways to help. Eric and Stella.